Hello everyone. Welcome to Remedy Panda. Today, we will have a look at the common mistakes in weight loss. Before we start, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now quickly, let's jump into the video. Maintaining your body weight is much required for you to be in good health. According to the World Health Organization, worldwide obesity has more than doubled since 1980. Keeping a count on calories intake and exercising regularly helps in weight loss. But most people make mistakes in following apt procedures and losing weight. Now, we will have a look on the common mistakes committed by people in losing weight. Not having enough water. Frequently, we mistake thirst for hunger and tend to have more. Drinking lots of water takes up space in your stomach and keeps you full. That is why, it's always better to stay hydrated throughout the day to cut down unnecessary eating. Even studies have proven that taking lots of fluids helps in reducing appetite. But the question is how much water should we have in a day? Aim for a minimum of 8 glasses per day. In addition, you can even have veggies or fruits which contain high water content like celery, watermelon, pineapple etc. You can even have tea, coconut water etc. as other options for hydration. Having Highly Processed Foods Not all processed foods are bad. Some foods are processed to make them safe. For example, milk is processed to get rid of harmful bacteria. While some foods are processed to make them suitable for use like seeds or pressed to get edible oils. On the other hand, some foods are processed to make their flavor appealing and increase the shelf life. Ingredients like salt, sugar or fats are added extra in processing foods. So, eating processed foods lead to higher intake of salts, sugar and fat than recommended amounts. Some researchers suggest that processed foods are the major factor for the current obesity situation and other health problems. Some researchers even suppose that processed foods have negative effects on gut health and inflammation. Instead, it's best to have whole, single-ingredient foods which are minimally processed. Not looking into calories in drinks People usually cut down soft drinks and other beverages from their diet to lose weight. That's a good thing. Instead, some choose fruit juices, soda, smoothies and meal replacement drinks which could be the major culprit for weight gain. Even fresh fruit juice without any added sugars is loaded with sugar. This may even lead to the same problems as having sugar-sweetened beverages. For example, 355 milliliters of unsweetened apple juice contains approximately 36 grams of sugar which is even more than 355 milliliters of koa. Even after the intake of calories through drinks, they still leave you in hunger because the appetite centers in your brain don't react to liquid foods. So, you will be intended to take solid food in addition. So, you end up having more and more calories rather than compensating for liquid calories. Instead, drink water with some lemon or mint for flavor. Not having enough sleep It seems like sleep has to do nothing in losing weight. But the fact is that short sleep really affects your weight. Sleep deprived makes you tired. It makes you feel uncomfortable throughout the day. You tend to skip exercise. Sleep deprivation often leads the levels of leptin, that is the fullness hormone, to go down whereas raises the levels of ghrelin, that is the hunger hormone. As a result, you feel even more hunger. You are inclined towards high fat and high carb foods. And since you're tired, you tend to eat more and further your body gains weight. Even late night snacking, heavy dinner before bed contributes to weight gain. So make sure you have enough sleep. Recommended sleep for adults to stay healthy is 7 to 9 hours. Not eating required fiber. Fiber is of two types, soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Insoluble fibers don't mix with water and act as bulking agents which can help with constipation. Soluble fibers, like beta-glucan and glucomonin, mixes with water to form viscous, gel-like substances. This gel holds water and helps in reducing appetite. This moves slowly in the digestive tract and keeps you full. Researchers have supposed that increasing the intake of fiber decreases calorie intake. Skipping Meals it is a myth that skipping meals helps in losing weight. 
it seems logical that skipping meals reduces calorie intake. But the fact is that it makes you tired. Skipping meals not only reduces metabolism but also it tends you to snack on high fat and high sugar foods and have over intake later. To lose weight, you need to reduce calorie intake and increase burning of calories with exercising. Instead, have a healthy and nutritious intake that gives you energy and prevents you from eating more later. Not eating required proteins. Protein is the most important nutrient for weight loss. Protein helps you to lose weight and reduce belly fat, and it works via several different mechanisms. Protein changes the levels of several weight regulating hormones. A high protein intake increases levels of the satiety which is appetite reducing hormone, while reducing your levels of the hunger hormone ghrelin. Instead of having carbs and fats, it is good to have protein foods as they reduce hunger. Taking high protein even boosts metabolism and increases the amount of calories burnt in a day. In addition, studies have shown that proteins have a powerful effect on cravings and reduce the desire for late night snacking. So, high protein diets have both metabolic advantage and an appetite advantage which makes it easy to cut down calories compared to lower protein diets. Having too few calories. Portion control plays a major role in weight loss. This is common advice for people who want to lose weight. It really works when done right. But you should never cut down so low that you remain hungry always. It slows down your metabolism as you have limited energy and thus, make it difficult for you to lose weight. Calories deficit is required for weight loss. For that you need to burn more calories than intake. Hence, consuming too many calories stops your weight loss whereas consuming too few calories makes you feel more hungry and decreases metabolism, muscle mass. If you find our video helpful, please like and share the video. If you are interested in more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and never miss another update.